Hey guys, I'm coming at you from a very different place today. Our guest room, it's clean. This is where I am today. Also, it's very late. I am filming this at late o'clock. You'll learn more about that at the end of this video. And I am losing my voice, so I sound a little bit funny today. Oh my God, I sound so bad. I should be paid a lot more for you guys to listen to me talk like this. So today I'm going over my new and improved winter hair care routine. This video has been a long time coming. I don't think I have filmed a winter hair care routine video since like 2016. Winter is so different from summer, obviously, for a lot of reasons, but it's another extreme. It's just a different kind. So whereas summer you're avoiding glycerin because it's too humid outside, it makes your hair big and poofy because it pulls too much water to your hair. You're avoiding glycerin in the winter because glycerin dries out your hair. So in the winter time, typically, you'll find that the ends of your hair are dry and crackly. You've got a lot of just like staticky fuzz up at the top. You're wearing hats. There's no shortage of frizz for anybody. So I've been playing with layering creams and gels I'm playing with deep conditioning a little bit more often and I've been playing with a new method of deep conditioning and that is on dry hair. I'm going to discuss two lines in this video. One is the Innate Life. They are online only. This is their herbal hair mask which is designed to be used on dry or slightly damp hair. What does that mean for you? It means not deep conditioning on wet hair when it's 20 degrees outside. It's glorious! You can apply this to your slightly damp or dry hair, maybe just mid shaft down and call it a day. Call it a night. Go to bed, get up in the morning and wash it up. If you really wanna boost that, you can add a few drops of their rose hair elixir to this in your hand, emulsify that, rub it into your hair and just pass out cold. It smells great. Even in a yoga class, which I'm gonna to demonstrate to you here in just a moment. Next, I tried a couple of scalp treatments from this brand. They have one for problematic scalp, one for normal scalp. They smell great, they feel great. I'm so excited to use these on my future clients in my studio one day. And then of course to shampoo and style, I'm going to be using the Trelux line, which has quickly become one of my very favorites. I'm very picky about shampoos and conditioners, and these have really become a couple of my absolute favorites. The Curl Renew and Restore is a gentle cleansing shampoo. It's low lathering, it's not stripping, but it does clean really well. And Tie the Knot is their nourishing leave-in conditioner, but I also use this as a rinse out, and I love it. It also smells amazing. Next, I've been styling with the Trelux Curl Supreme 4-in-1 Hydrating Cream, which I wasn't sure if I would like. I did purchase this in October, and I've been playing with it ever since, and I love it. I layer that underneath their High Definition Curl Enhancer Styling Gel. So, without further ado, let's jump into the ways I played with these products. One day, I did a deep condition during a hot yoga session and shampooed and styled with the Trelux products. I'll show you how I did a deep condition and scalp treatment followed by shampooing and styling with the Trelux products. So, let's just... Jump on in, because, <laughs> yeah. Good morning, friends. This day five hair is in some serious need of some love. So I'm going to yoga, and I'm going to apply the Innate Life Herbal Hair Mask. This is to be applied on slightly damp or dry hair, and this is the Rose Hair Elixir. So I'm going to combine the two for like a double whammy of moisture. Use about a uh, quarter size amount. And add a couple drops of their rose hair elixir to it. It's an avocado oil based solution and it smells so good. We'll put three drops because oh my god, it smells so good. I have always wanted to go to a yoga class with deep conditioner and because the room is so warm, but who wants to have like wet, drippy hair the entire time you know you're down dogging? It's like not a good idea. This is perfect because I can apply this on dry hair and it needs to stay in for a few hours or overnight. This will be in my hair for about no three, four hours before I'm able to rinse it out. I'm gonna do another quarter-sized amount, another three drops. On dry hair, saturating it's kind of difficult because your hair really, really absorbs it because that cuticle is a little bit empty and you don't have any water on it. I put it up with my Invisibobble. Oh my gosh, though, I have to tell you, it smells incredible. Up into a bun we go. No dripping. So I'm gonna put a couple more drops of this rose hair oil just on my bangs because it smells so good and I want to smell it the whole time I'm working out. <laughs> okay, yoga was awesome. During my down dogs and other poses, just having this really nice aroma of rose was so refreshing. It just really kind of um, added a nice kind of level of aromatherapy to my yoga practice that I didn't anticipate. Okie dokie, time to wash this hair. I am shampooing with the Trelux Curl Renew and Restore. I'll be conditioning with 
Tray Looks Untie the Knot, which basically smells like Thanksgiving and Christmas all wrapped in one. I'll be leaving in a little bit of this as my leave-in also, by the way. And then I will be styling with the Curl Supreme 4-in-1 Hydrating Cream from Tray Looks and the Tray Looks Curl Enhancing Styling Gel. Here's clean products are in. This is a very promising wash day. Okay, I'm gonna start diffusing with this monster right here. If you guys have any questions about how I diffuse my hair, I've got lots of videos um, that will show you how to do that. I'll link those all up here in the corners and I'll put the links in my description box. It's my favorite part. Take out the clips time. Time to scrunch. I really find that in the winter time for me to keep any like bit of curls intact at all. It's so, so important to actually have a pretty good cast. And I feel good about the cast that the Trey Looks High Definition Gel gives me. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy with this. Y'all don't know this because I try to not complain about my hair all the time because I feel like I really don't have anything to complain about. But you know, like you know when your hair is not right, right? Like my ends have been a little frayed, but today it's like a lot softer, looks a lot healthier, a lot more, I don't know, just hydrated than it has. The Innate Life Scalp Treatment. I have two different kinds here. I have the scalp treatment for problematic scalp, and then this is the scalp treatment for normal scalp. Just to compare the two, you can tell that they look very different. So problematic scalp is a little bit more green. Normal scalp is a little bit more yellow. They both smell amazing, like very herbal. They're kind of runny. I don't love them being in a jar. I don't love most things being in a jar just because you know, whatever. I don't like to put my fingers in things, so I'm gonna be using a little spoon to get the product out. But they both smell amazing. The main difference between these two, their ingredients are very similar, very soothing, very cooling on the scalp, but in the problematic scalp formulation, you're going to see more neem oil, which is moisturizing to the scalp. It's natural anti-inflammatory for things like eczema, psoriasis, just generally inflamed skin, itchy skin, flaky skin. And it also contains tea tree, which is a wonderful natural antifungal ingredient for someone who maybe tends to find dandruff getting out of control. Dandruff is pretty normal, but seeing dandruff get out of control is not. So this is a great solution for that. So I will be using these um, on my clients as well because I do have a number of clients with itchy scalps and that's no fun. I mean, having the top of your head itch all the time would be awful. So I'm always on the lookout for solutions to help my clients and these are something that I'm really excited to have uncovered. I'm going to try out the problematic scalp treatment. So this is how I'm going to do it. I have not washed my hair in five days. So it's been, it's been a minute. Okay, so don't need a whole lot. So I'm gonna start with just a little spoonful. Actually, it goes a long way, like way more than I thought it would. I'm just gonna go in like this. Almost like I would fluff my roots. The directions say, massage the scalp for three to five minutes, leave on for a few hours or overnight. You may need to go back in for a little bit more. It's got a nice little, I don't know if you can see these little granules on my fingers, but it's a nice little scrubby effect to it. I don't know what the exfoliant is in this, but I'll find out. You can definitely smell the peppermint. It's pretty wonderful. Giving your scalp this kind of stimulation and exfoliation too is just something I think that none of us do enough. I'm sure that I don't show my scalp the attention it really needs. I mean, I, ex I clarify, but I don't scrub my scalp like I used to when I did co-wash um, earlier on in my journey. That was delightful. We're gonna let this marinate for a bit and then um, I'll be back to wash my hair and I'll be using the Trey Looks line to cleanse and style my hair. You know what? I'm gonna give myself an added treat of using a little bit of this herbal hair mask as well. This fragrance is unbelievable. So if we're gonna do a scalp treatment, might as well do something nice for the ends too. This is a herbal mask? Herbal, <laughs> it's an herbal mask. Herb is a funny word, you don't say herb, unless it's a man's name and there are men named herb. You say herb. Uber. Herb, herb means like plants, that we can use. Uba. 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 Okay. 
gonna put this up into a little bun like I did when I went to yoga the other day. Oh my gosh, that was so delightful. And let this marinate for a hot minute before we wash it out. Okay, wow, I definitely had to shampoo twice, but the Trelux Curl Renew and Restore Gentle Cleansing Rinse actually did clean all of those oils off of my hair without stripping it, making me feel like I needed to deep condition afterwards. And then I still use the Untie the Knot both as my rinse out and my leave-in conditioner. It smells so good. And then I styled with these two, the Curl Supreme and the Curl Enhancer Styling Gel. I'm gonna diffuse and put on my face and be back with you guys in just a little bit. Hello friends. So the filming of this video did not go exactly as I had planned. Um, I, I meant to film this part right after I scrunched out the crunch, maybe even scrunch out the crunch with you guys after I got finished styling and my day just got carried away. I went up to school and it is currently, as I'm filming this, it's 11 o'clock at night. I've just gotten home from cosmetology school and I'm actually thrilled that I'm filming this now because you know, normally you see my hair right after I've scrunched out the crunch, it's fresh hair, but what has this hair gone through? Namely, an extreme shift in the weather and just hours of time. We had a giant cold front come in today. The temperature dropped from like 50 degrees down into the 20s. Um, the dew point dropped from somewhere in the 40s, I think, to the 20s. And this hair is not staticky. It's not crunchy. It doesn't feel dry. This hair feels moisturized and thick without feeling heavy at the roots. This new winter routine of mine is really keeping up with the weather. And I'm really thrilled. So I'm gonna go over the products from the Innate Life. They all contain the Innate Life's signature blend of Ayurvedic herbs. And I really wasn't familiar with a lot of these, so I'm gonna refer to the Google that I've got down here in my lap and tell you guys a little bit about these ingredients because I had to look them up myself. I was really curious about what they did, why they were significant. First is Bringaraj. First of all, I'm not positive I'm saying that right. Bringaraj oil is said to boost blood circulation to the scalp, providing stimulation and triggering hair growth. I won't say no to that. Brahmi is also said to accelerate hair growth, strengthen the follicles, and prevent dandruff. Tulsi treats dandruff and dry scalp. There's also amla. I found a great article about this on the Naturally Curly website. It says that amla powder contains large amounts of vitamin C, which acts as an antioxidant and anti-inflammatory agent and may also stimulate collagen growth in scalp tissue. And then last, of course, there's neem. And we discussed that one when looking at the scalp treatment for problematic hair. It's a great anti-inflammatory, so it's wonderful for psoriasis, eczema, generally itchy, problematic skin. So you'll find that in this and all of the Innate Life's products. This hair elixir is so beautiful. Like the color is just stunning. The ingredients are amazing. Avocado oil, sweet almond oil, sunflower oil, grapeseed oil, flax seed, sea buckthorn, that's what gives it its color. The sea buckthorn fruit oil. Just such a beautiful product. Can't get over how good it smells. A little goes a long way. I will say that about all of their products. I looked at these bottles and I was like, there's tiny they go a long way they're not messing around I would like to smell this all night while I sleep and you guys know that I'm not really a big fan of using oils to style with I use them sparingly because I don't want to apply so much oil to my hair that I'm actually blocking water absorption because of course Water equals hydration. That's the most important styling ingredient out there. But I do think a nice application of oil from time to time just, I don't know, it just it just feels right. Next, I'm gonna talk about the Trelux products. I've talked about these a lot on my Instagram and for good reason. So I really thought there's no way that this Curl Renew and Restore shampoo is going to be able to shampoo out the scalp treatment. And I was wrong. I mean, granted, I had to shampoo twice, but it did a beautiful job of cleansing my hair without stripping it, without making me feel like I needed to deep condition right after. Um, and my, my roots are not heavy, they're not oily, like it's just, it's wonderful. I really need to cut my bangs again, because if you have bangs, you're always cutting them. But I love it, it's just such a good shampoo and I am so picky about shampoos. I have hardly found any shampoos in my journey that I like at all. And this is one that I can safely say is really, really wonderful. It's a little bit sweet, but it's also fresh and clean. I just really enjoy this shampoo. This conditioner is delightful. I know that it says that it's a nourishing leave-in conditioner. This is fine as a rinse out also. 
Again, it smells like cinnamon, nutmeg, and like all things Thanksgiving and Christmas. And I really didn't think that the fragrance lingered much, but as I was walking into cosmetology school tonight, it was super, super windy. And this burst of wind kicked up my hair and I got a little whiff of it. And I was like, ooh, Thanksgiving. <laughs> it just, I didn't mind at all. It was delightful. I'm loving this conditioner. I love this company. Um, and they're doing so many great things for the community too that just make me so happy. One of their initiatives is called a Natural Fit. And you can find out more information about this on their website. It provides after school programs for at risk girls in partnership with a few different Chicago based nonprofit organizations. Another thing they do I think is so great is that they do provide free hair care products to children going into foster homes where the families might not be very knowledgeable about taking care of curly hair, and I think that's just so thoughtful. Um, so I just love that about them. I think they have a really good heart, and it makes me feel good about supporting their business and buying their products. So I just bought this Curl Supreme out of my own pocket. I was curious to try it. Whole Foods was having a big sale back in, what was it, October? It smells amazing. All of their fragrances for me are just spot on, and y'all know how I feel about fragrance and products. So one of the things I've really been doing this winter as my hair is longer, it's gotten a lot longer, um, and with that, it's just drier, and the ends can feel a little crackly from time to time. So this winter, I've really been playing with layering creams and gels. I've been a one product gal for a long time, so this is something that I'm playing with again. And there are a number of combinations that I like, but this has definitely become one of my favorites. This is their Curl Supreme 4-in-1 Hydrating Cream. And the tray looks High Definition Curl Enhancer Styling Gel. I love both of these products. I love this one by itself for spring, summer, fall, but as it gets really cold and dry outside, layering this with this is wonderful. And you know what? I didn't like it at first because I wasn't using enough. I was surprised at how much of this I can actually use on my hair, how much of it my hair will actually absorb. I mean, this is like three quarters of a teaspoon. That's, that smells so good. It's just perfumey in like the most delicate of ways. I love it. This is my updated winter hair care routine video. These are some of my very favorite products. It's been a long time coming. I hope this is helpful to you guys. If you have any questions at all, of course, leave them in the comments section below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. I hope you have a happy holiday season, happy new year, and I'll talk with you guys very soon. Have a great one. See ya, bye.